we're showing here is three levels of instrument cluster solutions. Uh, we have, we have uh, starting over here with the uh, what we call the premium line. This is a 12 inch 1280 by 480 instrument cluster driven by our IDA MX51 uh, applications processor with two GPUs accelerating the needles and all the 3D effects. And the demo was created for us by uh, our good friends at TAT in Sweden. This is so a this nice big uh, dashboard screen. Yeah. So th this is this is kind of where we see the future of the instrument clusters, where there's there's no real mechanical moving elements anymore. Everything's done with graphics, and it can be reconfigured. You'll see in a moment. It'll switch over to a to a different skin. We've got classic. We've got uh, luxury, and we've got uh, futuristic skins on this demo. So nice. You can obviously have a lot of different information. You have service information. You can you can browse the. Uh, your music that's on your iPod that's connected to the system and uh, see all of your safety systems so we're excited about this one that's that's going into your premium level cars today <laughs> if, you, if you look over here this is our what we call a mid high line instrument <coughs> cluster solution so this is really the future of high volume instrument clusters for uh, at least for the more developed markets so in one single chip we can drive QVGA graphics panel with some pretty fancy animations. We can drive directly six gauges with um, integrated stepper motor drivers with uh, patented stall, stall detect uh, technology. All of the vehicle interfaces and everything can be done on a two layer PCB and that's, that's really important to keep the cost down. And if, if we uh, move over to here, so this is, this is more of a Low-end, uh, low-cost solution. Again, a fully integrated system on a 16-bit microcontroller. It drives directly all the gauges. It drives a dot matrix display. Um, very cost-optimized solution. What we're seeing today is that these are going into the what we call the BRIC countries, so Brazil, China, those kind of markets where um, it's more of a lower-cost focus, but they still want, they still want the, um, the features here with the panel and so on. Nice. So uh, basically, uh, this is more expensive because of the screen, or the screen is a big driver of the cost in that. It's just the screen. How about the the rest of the hardware? How's the cost difference? The, the the electronics is certainly quite a lot more expensive than these other solutions as well. The screen is the screen is a big thing. So the the ARM uh, uh, IMX51 is more expensive than uh, that that solution over there. Yes, it is, and and, and these high end solutions are about you know, really the the best graphics you can get in an automotive qualified solution because you just want to deliver better graphics than anybody else can do. So it's more about a performance optimized solution. Whereas this one is kind of a, a compromise, an intelligent compromise between good graphics and really keeping the system cost down so we can get it into a high volume uh, vehicle. Are these uh, shipping? How soon are they shipping? Um, you'll see these shipping, I think, from the first ones from... These, these ones are already in production, the low end. The mid-range, I think we'll see those in production 2012. Same for this one, 2012 like production in, in, a, in a real automotive application. Nice, cool. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs>